Today, there are two million descendants of French Canadian immigrants living in New England. These are our stories. Welcome to the French Canadian Legacy Podcast. Venez tous jeunes filles et garçons, je vais vous raconter l'histoire de notre immigration ici au USA, de grands aventuriers de pays étrangers. Bonjour everyone, this is Melody and we're back with French Canadian News. We'll start with an article from Juliana LaRue titled Celebrating Bitterford Cultural and Heritage Center. This month, the Bitterford Cultural and Heritage Center celebrated its five-year anniversary in preserving the Franco-American culture and history of Bitterford, Maine, and its surrounding communities. Next up, LaRue shared the news of a Franco-American writer in Maine who recently passed away in Maine mourns the loss of a brilliant Franco-American writer. Susan Pelletier, a native of Lewiston, Maine, was a writer and poet who will be greatly missed by those who knew her and enjoyed her writings. Susan's work was published in anthologies, literary journals, chapbooks, and political and environmental magazines. She worked as a journalist, editorial consultant, market gardener, college instructor, and co-editor of a progressive monthly. Susan's Celebration of Life service will be held on Saturday, October 15th at 10.45 a.m. at Trinity Church in Lewiston, Maine. The French Canadian Heritage Society of Michigan has recently created the French Canadian History Scholarship for incoming college freshmen who are studying Michigan history by the War of 1812, colonial history, or French colonial history at a college or university in the United States or Canada. Fill out the attached application and email it to fchsmscholarship at gmail.com before December 31, 2022. The Maine Suffrage Trail is officially open, and it named Camille Lessard Bissonnette, a legendary Franco-American woman who was involved with the women's suffrage movement in Maine. Bissonnette also wrote for Les Messengers, advocating for suffrage in Maine and Canada. Learn more about Bissonnette and other Maine women who fought for the women's right to vote by attending the Suffrage Trail. And now on to events. On October 19th, check out pret a parler University with the Franco-American Center. This version of pret a is for college students taking French at the university level, with the conversation facilitated by a college professor. Register by October 18th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time to participate. On October 25th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., check out Le Clec de Courtier. This French conversation group meets on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month at Barnes & Noble on 235 Daniel Webster Highway in Nashua, New Hampshire. On October 26, from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m., check out this organ concert at the newly restored St. Joseph Cathedral in Manchester, New Hampshire. Starring Maurice Cleric, Emetrius organist of the Cathedral in Dijon, France. Cleric has performed at about 1,300 recitals in 20 countries and 28 tours in the United States and Canada. Attendance is free, but a free will donation of $15 is encouraged. That's all I've got for you this time. Everything I've covered today will be linked in the French Canadian Legacy podcast episode description. Merci for listening. Now our fathers look at us and sigh with despair To think that everything they love we simply do not share But the spirit never dies, our culture will survive Each of us must choose how much to keep alive Each of us must choose how much to keep alive Special thanks to Josie Vashon for providing the music. You can find more about her at josievashon.com. This podcast was produced and edited by Mike Campbell. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at fclpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at fclpodcast for more information about the topics discussed. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes or wherever you listen to this episode.